Now, are you gonna talk about the boy you was talking to overseas? Ah! Or <laughs> What's up, y'all? We got Terrell Talks, Terrell Show Start, being broke, dating, and his <laughs> life, okay? Uh, and this is Zach, this is uh, Zach Campbell show, all right? I just want to tell y'all something. I just had the best chicken nuggets and fries of my <laughs> life. You hear me? I don't know. I don't know if it's because I ain't ate nothing all day or what, but they was slapping. It came you straight from the oven in Listen, the air fryer. you still eating chicken nuggets and fries, I ain't judging you, okay? Do what you got to do because we good. still eat it over here. Delicious. You don't feel like cooking? It's a delicatessen. Trying to tell you. Delicacy. Trying to tell you. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to the Tired Ass Podcast. We are back up in this gig and well, shit. <laughs> y'all know what the fuck going on, bitch. Yeah. I have. Let me give you an intro. Oh, sorry, I shit, but you know. Oh my, on. you're not here right now. That's right. Bye. I have one of my. <laughs> you can't see me. <laughs> I, you don't mean you have to leave out the frame. This bitch oh. out the frame of hey. the camera. I, I yeah. have one of my best friends. We're good. I would say one of the most. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Iconic YouTube figures, and, 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 and I've never seen somebody make a wall more iconic than anybody. Than okay. This here. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and everybody oh. in between, please give it up for my best friend Terrell Grice. Oh. What's going on, baby? Hey, I'm Terrell. To the Wait a minute. Time. It was the ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. <laughs> I, I ain't catch even, that. I didn't even pay attention that he said that. I ain't even catch that. That's a good way to say it. I ain't gonna lie. It's so good to be here yeah. with y'all tired ass selves. <laughs> I feel very good. I'm at home. First of all, can we stop? Because you're giving me flowers. Wait, wait. Okay, wait. wait. Look at this room that we're in. Look Listen. at this studio. Listen. Y'all don't know like I know. <laughs> no, 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 can no, I no. preach a little bit? <laughs> they don't understand. Okay? I don't think they get it. Don't they finna cut up, okay? It's Campbell. Yeah. It's mm -mm good in here. Ah! Um, <laughs> it's very good to me. I'm so proud of you. I need to go ahead and give us a shot. I think. Oh yeah, you know how I, I did do. you right today. Now, what you do me? I gave you options. We can do dog, even though I hate dog. Do, shit if I do, do so same myself. myself. Shout if out to I my fam so at myself. Rock Nation and yeah. Parkwood. Yeah. Or we could do Woo! my girls, my Kendall. Kim. I actually love you, Kendall. That's my girl. Mm. Eight one eight to Kiki. Which one would you well, like? Now, now, are we shotting or are we mixing? I was going to shot it. Okay, now, for shotting it, I'm going to do the clear, okay? Because I feel like this... That, that'll that get me fucked up. And I feel like this going to have you want to do some things. This going to do some things, and I got to be a, I gotta pay attention, okay? And... Honestly, that shit... The last time I saw you on dog... <laughs> tell, tell him. I don't want to tell on your business. Like, <laughs> Let me just say this. Terrell can get real horny. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that turns me into a whore. <laughs> can become, like, you ever see, like, what's the word, like, the man eater bitch? Yeah. It's like, I can sniff him out and take him. See, people, <laughs> <laughs> people think because of who I am and what I do, what I do, yes. that I don't Because you're so professional. Yeah, yeah, and I That's what it him. is. It's because you are a professional gal. Thank you. You know what I mean? It's called I'm a pro. I'm a pro. Ho. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's like shit. that. And trust me, see, Zach is my good friend, so he oh knows. So Zach comes over to the house oh, with Jesus. my real friends, yeah, okay? Listen, listen, where, listen. where we put the phones up. Oh, have a party. Huh? Actually, the they're, not, they're, not even, they're not even out. Not, everybody knows. Everybody else knows. Because everybody that's there is like, bitch, can we unplug? Can please? we unplug? Can listen, we be real listen. in these listen. streets? Facts. My girl Madison like, was there. Friends like that. Yes, my Facts. girl Madison came through, honey. Ma Ooh, let me tell you something. You want to pour up? Can I pour up? Pour up? Mm -hmm. We have a time really at my party. Yeah, I only throw yeah. a couple of them a year. But and that's why. But every last one of them. <laughs> it's time. It's yeah, time. I think it's honestly time for you to be that girl in LA. Come to on, do that. can Just we talk about like... that party I threw for the NAACP? Absolutely, absolutely. Can, can we get the invite to the party? Time. Okay, can we can we come to the party? Like, honestly, the girls need to get into you and your bag when it comes to like putting together a fucking function. I love like hosting is so fun for me. Yeah, you do it in too both well. Ways. And I know, like, did, like you know? on camera and in real life. Oh yeah, oh, the yeah. girls can't take you for real. And you know what? <laughs> they really can't because you're not about to come up in my party and be disengaged and and be off to the side. I'm gonna reel your ass. Oh, and in. Terrell is one of the people that will host and be like, "Now everybody mingle, everybody <laughs> talk." I like, believe like, it. Like, you know, when your mama That's how it should be though. Because yeah. honestly, I'm one of the people that can get lost in the corner by myself because I'm not. I'm not a t I'm not a bit talker mm -mm. unless I'm comfortable with you. Yeah. Like you literally have to approach me. And if no one approaches me, I'm absolutely fine. 
right. being by myself. Like, not I'm gonna absolutely cry. cool. You know what I'm saying? Not like, I ain't tripping. But I feel like I be, like, I feel like I be looking like a, I don't want to deal with people or I'm too good to deal with people. But it's not. It's just I have a hard time engaging people. I'd rather people come up, like, engage me. But see, that's why I feel like God made extroverts because the extroverts are the ones that see an introvert standing over there sometimes, minding their business and sometimes be, yeah but you know that's why I, I feel like if you wholeheartedly are extrovert you are not going to be able to take seeing somebody stand around and do nothing you're yeah. either going to stand beside them and be like this party's lame isn't it or something now, like something like that <laughs> now you give me a couple of drinks now i'm a whole extrovert out here in these streets you hear me to a certain extent go on and get yourself introduced <laughs> yes that's me <laughs> all that sitting around and I don't know anybody Toronto uh -huh. play that you gonna know you gonna know everybody today. by the time you leave by the time room. you leave here by the time you leave you gonna room. have a couple you gonna have somebody to marry fucking kill <laughs> by the time you leave <laughs> <laughs> me and my best friend gonna get what? drunk over here and we are gonna go ahead and break this I know there's no ice between us no. this has been thawing out for what five years now <laughs> for friendship lasting more than a year oh with God. no drama none you know what it Shout is. Shout out not, to the friendships that don't have drama. Because it don't Why have to. Why people feel like y'all ain't really friends or you don't really know somebody because y'all don't have drama? Why do I need to fall out with my friend? That's my friend. Right. You know, we might disagree, but that don't mean we need to be falling out. We ain't talking yeah. to each other for two weeks because we disagree on, on some shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. People feel like you're supposed to have drama with your friends for y'all to really be friends. Yeah, it's really the maturity level. Like, you can fall out, but then, like, you know, stop talking for about three days and then somebody like, all right, look, uh, so what time are we going to eat lunch today? Like, that type of stuff. Now, if you got them friends that's out here, you know, bad mouthing you behind your back and stuff, then they ain't your friends. What are you talking about? Them? Exactly. They ain't your friends. But, but I mean, I mean, it, right. P, you can have friends where you ain't even fell out to the point where you don't want to talk for three days. Yeah. You can have friends that has absolutely no drama involved. Mm -hmm. Like, you literally can. Yeah. You can. It's possible. I want friends that I'm not falling out with. I don't want a friend that I'm falling out with every time we get drunk. It depends or, what people feel d define falling out as because they might have they might have two friends and they might disagree about something I and it might turn heated, but it's really not even an argument. It's just a heated discussion and every and life just goes on. So some people might call that falling I'm out. I'm talking about like y'all real deal like like arguing. Some people got friends that they argue with all the time, and then they be like, "But you know that my bitch, da, da, da. I don't even want that, cause I ain't got the energy to argue with you." Yeah, not even as a friend. Piece of drama. Girl. People think making friends is so hard. It's not. The trick is. Tell me the when, trick, when please. You move to LA. I don't know if you feel this. Mm -hmm. When you move to LA from another place, LA will try to change your heart your mind your, your soul what you value mm -hmm. it will try to change mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. and it does that because you're trying to match the energy of the majority of the come folk on. that are here come on now. right so when you're going out to parties and you're trying to meet people mingle mm -hmm. you see what they're giving and you give it back yeah that's where you fuck up <laughs> and that's where you that's up. where you messed up come on now give them the same energy that you gave from wherever you came from. Facts. And I'm a southern dude. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you all LA bougie. I'm going to walk in the door and be like, what up, ho? What, how y'all doing? How you doing? What's good <laughs> what with it you? Is. What it is, ho? And, and what's, what's up? up? What's up? <laughs> so I, yeah. I, I, I tend to say that, you know, making friends comes easy to me because yeah. I, I'm going to give you who I've always, always been. been. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and break the ice with Terrell Grice. And don't steal my show, bitch, because that's a cute name. Madison! That, that, <laughs> that name actually eats. Well, Break I gotta the call ice Roxy real quick. Ah, uh, Raquel! <laughs> Damn, that's loud. Okay. All right, let's take this shot to friendship. Let's get it. Let's take this shot to friendship. I think we do, Madison. Capri Suns. Come on, Mother Maddie. <laughs> she said, y'all have your juices, kids, mm. before you get fucked up. Oh, they do got Capri Suns <laughs> right. in real life. <laughs> I gotta deal with the, with the pinky out, you know. <laughs> Pinky's up. <laughs> Very proper. We love you, Kendall. Zach, why are you making that face? <laughs> You don't need that face. Terrell. <laughs> Terrell. Terrell. Terrell, liquor for me. Oh, we need to do a split screen of that. Yeah. Just when we edit this. 
Cause Terrell, weed for me is like liquor to you. Mm. You know, I can smoke you out of a house in a home. Yes, you can. Terrell can drink <laughs> you out of a house in a home. You won't have nothing left. <laughs> but I can't drink and you can't smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Terrell, let me tell y'all something. Last time I tried to smoke. Nope. Mm -mm. I thought I was Bob Marley. Terrell getting high. <laughs> I would love to see that. Don't do it. Nope. I said I'll learn my lesson. I don't know what it is about the weed. It, it, Somebody it always it. calling when we working. <laughs> Dang. You feel, first of all. I think you're already naturally high. Maybe that's yeah. what it is. I think you already have a natural high kind of thing to you. Yeah. And so weed just kind of like brings you to a higher level of the high you already in. Because I start they don't wanna know what the hell we laughing at. My cup got stuck to my coaster. So when I picked it up, the coaster fell. But it had when I sat I tested it earlier. I sat it on there and it didn't you got stick. The condensation on it now. But that's why I thought it wouldn't stick because the condensation is wet and that is sticky and wet and sticky don't really go together. Oh the the the, the look. If I say sticky stuff, they're gonna think we ain't we dirty. Oh. But it's some sticky like it came from a um it a came with some ball. kind of little ball in my stress ball. The baby popped and squeezed the I, stuff out of I it. I didn't pop it. You did. No, I didn't. You did. Your nephew did it. Well, well, one of y'all popped it and you squeezed it out and stuck it on my coaster. And now every drink I put on here sticks. I didn't squeeze it out. What happens is when you sit it down, it just starts coming out on its own, which we threw it away. So it she, doesn't even she matter. She started anymore. off squeezing it, y'all. Put the napkin on top of it. It won't Brand, stick to I feel a little close to God <laughs> when I'm high. I'm not you talking to a, 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 uh, what is it, Moses and Joseph. Yes, I be like, who the who who this red sea? Who the, who the, who the, who the Billy Goat? What? <laughs> <laughs> I hate everybody in the room. Me, Rack, She, Rack, and the Bendigo. That's There's the one, no Meshach Billy Goat. and Meshach. Oh, yes. Yeah. Shake yeah. Shack and me Shack. Shake Shack. Shake I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm canceled. <laughs> oh, they come for your black ass, nigga. Listen, all right. Okay. So Madison wrote you some cards. Ooh, is this what this is? Yes, okay. baby. So I'm going to go first and you go after okay. that. Is that all right? Mm, I'm very scared. I hope they're juicy. I <laughs> hope they are. Oh, Madison, that is the first one. Wait, Give it to me. Madison, yes, what but this the, you put it in order, oh, yeah, and yeah. this is the first one. What it say? <laughs> Have you ever masturbated <laughs> after hooking up with someone? <laughs> oh God, yes. Let me repeat that one more time. No, you don't have to. Just for the people. Have I ever stroked it, beat your meat after beat somebody you left? Meat. Yeah, because oh. it wasn't giving. Oh, yeah, I've kicked some. Oh, oh. And here it is. I want to. I need to kick some out. It. First of all, I Let's know some of you guys are not used to me talking about sex, but where are we? We're at the Tired Us Podcast. We're at the Tired Us Podcast. Yeah, the Tired Us Podcast. Everybody can be free here, babe. It gives. What's up? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, 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 Yes! Uh, 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 uh. Bitch, okay. Let What's me up? Tell you something. All right. I do not play these reindeer games. <laughs> reindeer, reindeer games? A reindeer game is if you come up in my space uh -huh. and start playing with it. Uh, oh. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. <laughs> we are here to get to it. All right? <laughs> okay. And, you know, like, I... I <laughs> you know, like, I'm a man of a certain age, yes. okay? We've yes. been here. We've, we've done that. I've actually never had a hookup that, like, I had to kick you out. Did you have to kick somebody I, out? I did. I did. I did. What do you say? What does Terrell say to kick somebody out? Get the That's hell out. I have Not so many right. lines. Oh, give me a good one. And you know what's... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh can, we, can we role play? Can we role play? Can yes, we role play? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, here I go. Here I go. Oh, no. And I'm like, okay, Terrell, I'm going to go down on you. Here I go. I'm like, okay, go down. Okay. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Wait, yeah, right, wait, right there. wait, not you, ooh, right. and I'm uh. still, wait. <laughs> I'm going to tell you my lines. Okay. My go-to lines when I'm ready to kick you out okay. is basically using work. Like, always work. Work always, always is the answer, right? Like, yeah. I got to mm -hmm. shoot at 5 a.m. Or, or, you know what I mean? <laughs> I got to get it. I got to get my hair braided. Hair freshly braided. I got to ah, get it ah, rebraided. Ah, ah, ah. And she's going to be here at 3.30. Oh. Because that's how we do it in the entertainment industry. In the morning. Industry. So you use work as your number one. I do. Damn. And then sometimes I'll throw Jesus in. Oh. Yeah. I'll be, she's I'll be like, oh, I feel conflicted. <gasps> <laughs> Imagine. You know what? I don't know if I'm saved anymore. 
<laughs> I don't know if God is smiling on me like he used I, to. I got to get out of this. I got to get out of this. I got to get out of this. <laughs> I would never <laughs> do that. But yeah. Hey, what you got for me? You got a question for me? Oh, you I get do. to ask you the You do. You do get to ask me a question. I like this. Oh yeah. One quality in a friend that instantly makes you not want to be friends anymore. Mm. I just hate that. It's like you read Damn. my mind because I was going to tell a story about what happened. Mm. So remember, I was about to say before we went to the break, icebreaker uh, intro, I was about yeah. to tell you like something happened to me recently. What happened? So this is actually really good. Good. You ever had friends or quote unquote friends that every time they call, they're going through something. It was like sucking the air out of the room. Yes. Man, mind you, this friend also didn't even pick up the phone to ask me how was I doing. We haven't, mm. we haven't talked in a few months, so. Well, I don't play that. Uh-huh. Can we stop and pause right what there? What you want to say? If we, if you're calling me mm-hmm. to, to emotionally dump, dump on me. Come on. Mm-hmm. Come on! You can't come out the blue with that. Mm-hmm. I'm, not, I, I'm not even in a position in our friendship to receive that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because if you called me with that, yep. we talk all the time. Absolutely. So you can, I can pick I up can go the straight phone to the, and you can story. get straight to the point. Yeah. Because you already know how I, I feel. I already know. Yeah. If we ain't talked in a while. And I'm talking about months. Oh, hell no. You, I'm talking about months. You better have your icebreaker of your own. <laughs> mm-hmm. Where's my icebreaker, yeah. bitch? Before you running down this whole line list of grievances, how about how are you? Are you well? Are you drinking water? I do not have the time to have somebody come to my home because now I have a man. I've been with this man for three years. This is a home. Shout out to B. Okay, listen. This is a home. <laughs> like I got two kids, two dogs, yes. but two kids. And those yes. are my kids. Yes, they okay. are. And those I got enough going on in my house. Like my house is literally my sanctuary. Yeah. If you come to my house, you are. My, you are you are family. <laughs> so I've been, and they have a wonderful couch. <laughs> <laughs> that couch you see reclines, why? It got buttons on. You it. see what I'm saying? It's got you buttons see why on. It's my sanctuary. It's so good. It got shit going on. Yeah, and then they pulled the weed out from the console. <laughs> Not you. Oh my goodness! I hate the this weed is inside me. the console. It is. I have a whole console in my, in my it's couch. It's so good. Just for the weed. It's so and good. And the papers are there too. The papers and, are and the there. wireless charges. Shout and out to the papers. I put my phone down on the couch. It doesn't even matter where you put it on the couch. Right on. You can put it on the cushion. It charges. You can put it oh, on the wait, back. The entire, the entire just charges. couch is electrified. Bitch, I live Actually, when couch. I sat down, I almost water. got a shock in my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, if you what happens? If, if you spill a drink, I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> Ooh, I, I think it would charge faster. <laughs> Leave! My God! <laughs> it's that shy. It's a cool-ass couch. Yeah! That couch was lit. She is lit. Literally. Literally. <laughs> have you ever deleted a video because it didn't get enough views or likes? Oh, I actually have not. Really? I have never done that. But what I will say is, well, first, I'll tell you why. I have learned recently, and mm-hmm. I've been doing this for however many years. Mm-hmm. I'm pouring another shot, too. another shot. I have learned recently that some of those videos that are small, mm-hmm. Are really effective to certain people. Come on, yeah. mm-hmm. Terrell Grice, you better preach, bitch. They're really effective because those to are the ones people. you ever been out. Girl, hold on. I'd be like, you, you ever been outside? That video? Yes. I'm like, and they'd be like, bitch, I love this. I'd be like, nah, ain't nobody. I thought nobody saw that. You right. two told me my analytics was higher. Yes. I'd be like, I, I have not thought about that video since it went because up. YouTube told me it was a flop. Can we take this shot? Let's take it because mm-hmm. you don't need no. Sh- why you, you making me look like a pussy bitch on my own show? What you talking about? Because I need, I need a... Yeah, bitch, you need that. Yeah, I'm the Capri Sun. I need another one. You need another Capri Sun? Nigga, bitch. <laughs> 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 turn off when Nigga, bitch is crazy. Turn off. What is your biggest? What is Terrell's... Like, if somebody biggest? is watching this, like, oh, I want to... But what's your biggest turn off? When dating someone? Mm-hmm. Um... Damn, what's my biggest Definitely, turn off? Definitely... I mean, there's quite a few. But... If you solely talk about yourself the whole time. Do I do that? No. Okay. Okay. Mine is somebody who's loud. Yeah. Baby, no, I, I do not like, I do not, I don't even like being at the counter in a grocery store and a woman telling me my total all loud. Like, yeah. I do not like loud talkers. Like, mm-hmm. if, if I'm standing right here in front of you, the people down there should not know what we're talking about. I cannot stand that. Mm-hmm. I, I've never dated anyone that's loud. She was a little loud. She <laughs> wasn't terrible. I love the way his eyebrows be going. <laughs> I love the way the is crazy. I have so many. <laughs> Terrell. Terrell. I do. That's not good to say out loud, bitch. What's y'all biggest turn off? 
I, I'm I so have sorry. So many. I don't like a lot of shit, man. <laughs> yeah. What's okay. The num- okay. Like number one biggest. Like bitch, it's done. I'm out of here. We're cutting it off. Okay. I think my biggest turnoff when dating someone mm-hmm. is when, let's say we're. I'm I'm re- I'm very big on how people treat other people. Yeah. It doesn't matter who it is. I don't care if it's a flight attendant, if it's a server, yeah. if it's a bartender. Even in my team, you know my team mm-hmm. very well. Mm-hmm. We have a whole protocol on how we treat the guests of the show and their guests. Oh, part. Mm-hmm. It's so important to me. I think everybody deserves the utmost respect. I don't care if you don't like that person, you disagree with that person. I'm so it just turns me off and yeah. I hate when somebody tries to do too much to try to look like they are that Hot guy shit. like they're like you're him. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh girl. That made you get up from the table? Huh? You got up from the table? What table? Like you're doing on a date and like bitch okay. Right. Yeah, like if I it, mm. Also another one. You have to be able to um know a little bit of music. It's oh, it's my thing. App. It's my thing, Absolutely. right? Like I want to converse with you about music. Now, what's the craziest thing you ever did for views? I got a lot of things cuz I don't <laughs> think y'all all know. <laughs> I have worn wigs, I have put <laughs> lipstick all around my face, I have worn tits all over my body. I, love that. I have I mean, people have made memes of them all. I love that. I know. I, I see a meme of you every day. So I've done I've done a lot of crazy shit. But you know what's funny? What? It's not for views. <laughs> yeah. It was because I you wanted, wanted to, to do, do it. it. And I am inspired. Yeah. And I remember I had did this Wild Thoughts video when Beyonce, I mean, when Rihanna first came up with Wild Thoughts. Yeah. I did a video mm-hmm. and I was in my room. I first moved to LA. I did my, I was in my room. I had a crop top and I had uh, some long johns and a tie dye. Mm. And I thought I was sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so I got on my bed and I That's twerked. What, and I like said, that. wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> and that was the song. That yeah. was the song for me the whole yeah. time. That song was amazing. And way. the fact that Rihanna picked that up and said, I'm posting this on my, this is, um, she put it on, it's on her Instagram to this day. No way. You gotta scroll all the way down to 2017, but it's there. <laughs> and she never cleaned her Instagram, so it's there. And I, I said, it. bad girl, Riri. And I, but that's because I loved it. Not to get her attention, you know not to get anybody's attention. I just simply love doing the shit that I love yeah. to do. Mm-hmm. Can, I, can I, again, I'm sorry. I'm gonna give you some more flowers. Here's your bouquet. <laughs> not bouquet. Here's your bouquet. Because not only what, are you capturing the attentions of legends? Stop. Rihanna, Beyonce, you were a part of the whole Formation World Tour. Your yeah. face was on the big ass Lego block. Everywhere mm. she went. You know why? Why, Terrell? Let me tell you why. Every time somebody asks me, Terrell, how did you do it? What is your key? What is your secret to finding success on social media? You gotta love it. Mm-hmm. Authenticity. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter if someone doesn't like you or wh- how you talk or what you look like or what you believe. There is a whole group of people a massive group of people that's going to see what you do and say, oh, I see myself in him. That's me. It didn't even got to be see yourself in everything about Come you. Come on. It's mm-hmm. that part of you. I see myself. Mm-hmm. I connect. I'm into it. So these, these, these legends of the game, Beyonce, Rihanna, Lady Gaga, yeah. they're seeing what you're doing and they're like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. He, he, got it. <laughs> he gets it. He gets it. I thrive off being the oddball. Yeah, I thrive off being the one that's like, that's not cool. Yeah, thank you. Actually, yeah. I love that for I love me that. because none of you bitches want to do it. Right. I love that. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's great. For me, um, I I do not make content for an audience. Mm. I make content for me. Come on. I don't particularly care too much who sees it, who watches it. I hope you engage with it. it. If I, you fuck with it, thank when, you. When I'm having an artist or a guest next to me on the blue wall, the person next to me is the only person that it matters in the world. You're the Come only on. person I see. Come on. This is a conversation between two human beings. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. The Terrell show is not about music. It's about the human connection. Mm. So I am, Quote that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm Y'all talking to this one. person, and there's a camera there mm-hmm. who is bearing witness to my conversation. Mm-hmm. But the camera 
is not what drives the conversation. Mm, we're not doing this. The camera this. is a fly on my wall. Talk about it. Literally. Talk about it. So when I put that content out, um, and I and I look back at it, I often look back at it as even the person on the screen, like, oh my God, that was such an interesting mm-hmm. thing. I, I feel so outside of myself. I'm like watching something else that happened with two other people. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, so I that's I think that's probably a key to the success of the Terrell show is I I'm not making content for a reason outside mm-hmm. of my own passion. Mm-hmm. I'm so passionate about human beings. That's T. I'm passionate about story. I'm, I'm passionate about now music. Now we gotta kill this bottle. Kill ah! it, Terrell. Yes. It's time for me to get into the Gigiana with you. Oh, I love when you say your Gigiana. <laughs> oh my god. Does it tickle your fancy? It does. <laughs> Especially when I'm tipsy. I just love when Zach be like, "What's the Gigiana? What's the Gigiana? <laughs> let's, get the, let's get to the Gigiana with Terrell Rice, honey. Okay. Let's I, get to his business. The music's okay, so ready? loud. I'm ready. Yeah, All right. Hold on, let me fix my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to talk about dating with you. Ooh. I don't know nobody talks about I don't think you talk about this at all. Honestly, if, you know, you know, Terrell, you keep a very, I would say, pristine image in mm. the sense of because of professionality, you want people to just kind of digest the music, digest, yeah. you know, the blue wall, digest mm-hmm. tea and cocoa, mm-hmm. and that's it. Go home. <laughs> Pretty y'all, much. Go home. y'all go home. <laughs> and I love that because it even taught me before when I when I started YouTube, I was a I was never a share all, but mm-hmm. I definitely didn't give a fuck what I said, how I said it, whatever. Mm. Fast forward to meeting you five years ago, <laughs> I got to finally have somebody in my corner like you and another person I love. Her name is Lily. She makes the graphic for the show. Shout out to Lily. Mm-hmm. Um, she's she was a big producer at this big company called Clever, and um, you know Clever, yes, yes. And she was one of the main producers there. Ah. And when you two came in my life, y'all taught me about being a, a t- entertainer, but yet saving stuff for yourself. You have to do that. Mm-hmm. Now this is the time for you to tell people how you feel because ah. I ain't got time. Now this is the time I want to know dating Terrell Grice. Like, wow. what do you like to get into? What is, do you have a type? Let's start there. Do you have a type? Ooh. <laughs> I Terrell know definitely this has a type, stupid, but mm-hmm. it's so true, y'all. I want to know. Physically, I do not have a type. I genuinely do not particularly care so much about the physicality of it all. Of course, there are certain types where it's like, "Ooh, you giving me the blues just yeah. by looking at you." Yeah, <laughs> you, Terrell, you got body. People don't know that, but Terrell got. Bo- if you never met Terrell in person, Terrell got body, and he be hiding under these clothes and things. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say something. <laughs> Terrell, I think since I've oh, known you, because Terrell has been playing tennis half his life, right? <laughs> More than half. <laughs> so that baby's body, if you've seen Serena. I do have certain <laughs> things that I really, really, really enjoy. Somebody's at home writing notes. And a here. personality, right? <laughs> number one. The number one thing in, in personality, and I was talking about this with a friend last night, I get so... Um, I feel so special mm-hmm. when the conversation is effortless. Mm. I feel like I have met someone that gets me. Mm-hmm. And nobody gets me, SZA. I feel I felt yeah. her when she said that. <laughs> yeah. When the conversation is just like a ping pong, mm-hmm. oh my God. You don't have to even be like a part of my, you know, like direct, direct culture, Absolutely. even. Like you, but you get it. Mm-hmm. I love that. I also love when you are super passionate about anything. I do, Zach. I don't care if the man is a goddamn rock collector. Come on, okay. <laughs> be the best. Be the motherfucking best rock, rock collector, collector okay. they Facts. I've ever Facts. seen. Facts. Bitch, Matt want to hire Hello. you. Hello. When they are trying to discover <laughs> what this rock is, they want to call you. This rock. They want like, to call you. This rock. <laughs> they call <laughs> your ass, and you're like, "That's a chrysanthemum X Y Z. It was created BC two hundred thousand, and you be like, and bitch, that's what I do." Ah, imagine. Yeah. I'd be like, what? <laughs> not pussy. Not pussy you better know it. Not pussy open. You better know that imagine goddamn it's just rock. A, imagine it's just a crack rock. Uh, you know, and that's oh, fine. God. It's a rock. Oh, <laughs> Jesus yeah. is also my rock. Do you know him? Do you know him? Okay, because that's number three. Do you know him? Do you, Do you know, know my him? rock? Do you know my rock? Okay. My last thing. I need you to not take yourself too seriously. Mm. I don't. 
and I need that in my mm-hmm. my, my life partner. Mm-hmm. I want to have fun, Zach. I want to have adventures and I want to explore. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be all buttoned up all the time. You know me. Come I'm on. very much a wild, shy you don't know guy. Okay. One day you may get, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about my best friend. One day you may get glasses to rail, which is <laughs> sitting at home, yes. reading a book, reading something yes. informational, C spanning it up, politics, <laughs> trying to understand about trying to understand about life, trying to understand about he's in his very a uh, theatrical not that. Uh, what's, what's the word? Uh, 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 the so bad. Yeah. Then you may have fun Terrell, yeah. which fun Terrell is going to be the life of the party yeah. around around. You may mm-hmm. have antisocial Terrell, which is Ooh. I want to be in a dark room with just the computer light on, and I want to just sit here and you just be everybody just be quiet. There's multiple Terrells <laughs> that you kind of got to get to know. I believe love, it. You know? Yeah, and I believe I feel it. Like having those things was make, what makes you you. Yeah. Now, are you going to talk about the boy you was talking to overseas, <laughs> or are we not going to do that today? <laughs> are we not doing that? Are we not doing that today? No. Or maybe I was talking too much. Can you see me? <laughs> oh, shit. Am I not doing, I'm not oh. doing am, I, am, I, am, I, am I doing too much? Am I doing too much? Shots have been fired. I God know, damn. I, know. I mean, you know. <laughs> you know, long story short, Bitch. my girl was, you know, she was, she flew over the seas for the dick and... <laughs> And uh, called everybody, her everybody, everybody her. called her and said, where you at? I'm overseas. Okay, let's tell the story right. Hold on. <laughs> let's tell the story right. Okay. Well, that was funny, though, because I was literally... <laughs> I was, speaking of talking to Zach um, in the dark, in my, in my bonnet, <laughs> tell me if I'm lying. I was in the dark, in my bonnet, in bed. Zach calls me. We're having a very normal conversation. And then he is prompted to say out of nowhere... Where are you? Because I don't know this background. Where where is this background? And I was like, I'm overseas. (laughs) (laughs) My my last relationship. Yes. There's a guy I met. Um, he is a he is an American, but he lives in Europe. Yes. For his job. And um, instantly, I think our first FaceTime was like five hours long. Instantly, I was and so like, I don't talk that long. I, <laughs> Zach, please tell them. <laughs> so, them be the ones you fall just, for. If you don't get off my phone, because like he said, <laughs> feel like they know you. I, yeah, I gotta go film. All right, I've got to go film. I gotta get in this hand. I've got to go. I gotta go. <laughs> God bless you, and I'll call you later. And later is in a couple weeks. Um, <laughs> um, beautiful man. Mm-hmm. Beautiful conversationalist. Chocolate speaks. She wasn't lying. She likes chocolate. Speaks. Ten languages, like Mm. uh, ten, and um, I hung up that first Facetime, and I was like, "Oh yeah, he might be the one. Like he might be it." And we continued just continue talking over the next few months. Yeah, and uh, uh, I was like, you know what? It's time to take this up a notch. Look at Terrell. We need (laughs) to, you know. And let me say. A long distance, only talking kind of relationships. Mm-hmm. I've always been very like standoffish about. I that. would be because yeah. I was like, it's mm-hmm. difficult. It's hard. Yeah, yeah. This is weird because this whole time I had not met him yet, right? So I'm like, Terrell, what are you doing? Like, like a this is app? when we met on mm-hmm. we met on Instagram. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. No. The, new dating app. <laughs> the new dating app, <laughs> literally. And I was like, man, you can. Why are you out here talking to this man over the Atlantic Ocean? <laughs> Take you twenty goddamn hours to go see him on a flight. Like this is too much. <laughs> Please. But I, I'm such a conversationalist. Obviously, yeah. I can. I found power in yeah. our words yeah. and in in the moments that we shared. Mm-hmm. So let's take it up a notch. <laughs> we need to go ahead and we need to figure out where we're gonna meet. We're gonna meet up in a mutual spot. Am I gonna come? You gonna come? Meet us? Figure it out. Um. And it took a long time, but yeah. we figured it out because we both are very professional people. Yeah. I have my own shit. Oh. He is he a, he definitely in his own yeah. shit. <laughs> okay. Girl, I said, hey. Oh, I said, oh, you, oh you're an adult. <laughs> you're an adult. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're, I said, yes, a real job. Okay. Yes, sir, you are an adult, and I don't understand this. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm get it. I'm college We're going to find a week or a weekend and figure this out. <laughs> um, and it actually did not end up working, and it, things got a little rocky, yeah. right? And uh, we reached a point where I was like, I don't think this is for me. Yeah. But I don't know what happened. Maybe it was God. Maybe it was my emotions. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go get my man. Aww. 
I'm going to surprise him. I'm going to fly all the way to the country that he is in, and I'm going to surprise him. And just show That's up. how you do it. As a package, by the way. Okay. This is how I decided to do it. Because <laughs> I lied to him. <laughs> <laughs> I said, right. I said, yo, all right, I got to pack. We were getting ready to, like, just stop everything, like, cut off communication. Like, it wasn't going to work. I was like, you know what? Before we do that, I'm going to send you a package, okay? <laughs> I'm going to send a package to the post office near your job. Yes. And you're going, sorry. And when it gets there, all you have to do is go pick it up, and then we'll see what happens after yes. you pick up this yes. package, right? So this whole time in my mind, I know that the package is me. <laughs> I'm going to go out there and, and show I'm up. The package. I'm the package. <laughs> so he's asking Facts. questions like, why can't you just send the package directly to my house? And I was like, uh-uh. Can't do that because that's psycho. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Psychopath behavior. I'm there. like, mm-hmm. I'm just at your crib. Like I had house. the address. I knew where it was. I'm but like, I'm just mm-hmm. at your house. Let's pick a mutual location, like yeah. a post office, yeah. and get it in. Yeah, baby, I'm at your house. Right. So he's asking me a thousand questions. Well, can I have the tracking? Bitch, shut the fuck. Stop that. Get the fucking package when it comes. It's coming on Tuesday at 4 o'clock. You trust me. Okay? <laughs> That's my flight land. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the tracking. Can I get the tracking? No. No, we don't need it. The flight number. They don't offer it in your country. The flight number. The flight number, right? <laughs> so here's the funny part, right? So uh, Tuesday, 4 o'clock is the date where I know I'm going to be at the post office ready to be his package. And I said, sir, do not go to this <laughs> post office before you call me. Call uh, that, me that, and that, let that, me that. know when you're on your way to the post office because I needed to be around. Who almost ate your mic, bitch. <laughs> I needed to be around so I can be like, okay, he's 20 minutes away. I can make my way to the post office. Of course, things don't go according to my plan. Why this nigga call me when he's at the damn counter mm-hmm. of the post office, Madison? <laughs> and I'm down the street. I'm local, but I'm down the street at the Gucci store. Yeah, I was now, bored. Now, the question is, Terrell, because people think you probably got a lot of coin. I like, just lost like, a lot of money. Would you, <laughs> Terrell, what was you buying at the Gucci store, Terrell? Because I know the answer, but I want to know if the people need to know the answer. What were you <laughs> paying? What were you buying at the Gucci store? Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yes, ma'am. I'll try this shoe on. Put it on me. Terrell is a tired it's bitch. It's a size 12. That put bitch it put on, on that shoe and say, like, oh, that's very nice. Put it back. Take it off. <laughs> <laughs> put it back where you say, got it from. They'll say, that's 2500 Oh, oh is it? Oh. <laughs> wow. Literally, I'm at the Gucci store, and he's like, babe, I'm here, and they're saying that there's no package. Oh. And, and the lady got my foot in her hand. I'm like, what? You're there already? Not taking the foot off. And he's like, yeah. I, 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 they don't say, they said there's no package for me. I said, girl, get this goddamn Gucci fucker. Shoot off my foot. I have to go. And I said, give me my Nike foot. I have to Give me go. my Nike shoe back. And I'm like running down a goddamn uh, a city of France. Looking for the damn post office, and he's still on my phone. By the way, people are shouting in French in my uh, all around me, and he's like, "Did I just hear somebody speak in French?" In French, I'm like, "No, no, I'm just at a French restaurant, and um, they they are taking an order, and uh, and I'm out of breath, running down the streets." My feet hurt. It's a cobblestone road. I am just, oh, baby, the dramatics. The Child, dr- when you make plans like that, it don't never mm-hmm. go as planned. Never. Mm-hmm. Something always has to mess plans like that up. Yeah. Something always has to ruin it. Mm-hmm. Now, he should have listened. He shouldn't have took his ass to that post office. So he that said, was on him. He said he got bored. That's why he went, you know, he <laughs> took a walk to the Gucci I would have walked away else too to the time. Yeah. yeah. Cause the, the 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 plan is you ain't supposed to be there. But what I probably would have did, I probably would have kept texting. Like, have you left yet? Are you on your way yet? Just to be on, yeah. Because yeah. mugs be trying to. Are be... you still at work? Because that package ain't got there yet. Exactly, exactly, something yeah. like that. The Maddox, and then finally, and I'm hearing him talk with the person at the counter. Like, are you sure it's from Terrell? It's from a Terrell Grace? There's nothing here. Babe, there's, they said there's nothing here. And I'm like, ah! like just frantically running. So I finally get to the post office. And it's so funny because 
I forgot in, in all of this frenzy to try to get to him in time before my whole cover's blown. I forgot that this is my first time meeting him. Like when I see him in the post office, this will be my first time meeting this man I've been talking to for months. Yeah. Um, so I finally got to the post office. I opened the door. And the first thing I see is the back of his head at the counter. And I froze. I immediately froze. I would have froze too. I was like, holy Out of sh- breath, but I would have froze. Totally <laughs> out of breath, shoestrings untied. <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> and I froze. And for like, it felt like three hours, but I'm sure it was like 10 seconds. Mm. I did not move a muscle. Mm. And then I finally, he's, uh, my phone is still to my ear. And I finally walked up behind him. And I put my hand on his back. And I go, excuse me, sir. Is there a problem with your package? Aww. And he <laughs> looks at me and falls the fuck out. Out of gag. And in that <laughs> moment, I this realized as fuck. that I was not the person that I thought I was. This heartless workaholic, yeah. don't want to be with nobody, can't yeah. nobody please me as much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. My friend actually has a heart. I do. And I, I've been, but I told you I this. Know. I've I been done new, and I I remember the days hearing the story. I've heard the story fifteen times, but listen, <laughs> hearing this story makes me so happy because I remember a time. It was only a couple years ago, yeah. but I remember a time where you were so anti. Ah, it's okay. Yeah. Nobody wants to date me, and I just mm. like look at you. Like, are you serious right now? Yeah. And I used to be so gasmacked by how you thought that nobody wanted to date you mm-hmm. because of who you are, how you are. And, uh, well, I'm not this way. I'm not that way. I don't really fit into, like, at that time, the queer normatives. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, the thing, the great thing about being queer, there is no normative. Wow. There is, Talk about there it. There is I no right be, mm-hmm. way to be queer. There is yeah. only your way yeah. and Beyonce, the Renaissance way, ah. to be queer. Mm-hmm. You know, there is there's only... Your way, you you de- you detect you yeah. kind of put together your path of what you think it is, and you being so romantic in that sense makes me so happy to see because Thanks. I remember a Terrell that didn't think they could be romantic. No, I did not think I I you hit it on the head. Like I did not see myself as somebody's boyfriend. No, it was always hard for me to do that. You were homeless before the Terrell show. Yes, and I I don't know if mm. people know how that impacted the Terrell show. Ooh. I was a call center agent. Oh! Yeah. Not just at the... Hi. I'm gonna... <laughs> what is strange? What's the problem? What's the problem? You know what's funny? I actually gave the same energy I give today on that call center. Are you serious? That, on that phone. Give me a run. Yes. So I worked for a company called Check. Yes. You ever heard of Check? It was no. like a bookstore but for like a wait yes! Yes! yes yes oh my gosh where i get my books from when i was in college exactly. oh you my god have, i never returned them talk to me. <laughs> i never returned them and they tried to charge me bitch oh i love oh, the charge baby, they that used to i have they used to like bitch <laughs> Your books are overdue. Your books are overdue, by baby. Your mom. And, and the thing is, I was in college. I couldn't afford my books. And Chad yeah. was a good. No, this is not sponsored, but it was a good yeah. website to get your books that you yeah. needed. They were slightly used, but they were like a it's really. Fine. Damn, I forgot about yeah. that website. I still I owe them probably phone. seventy dollars. <laughs> Actually, don't come after me after you watch this video, Chad. God, I got it. And I quickly like, <laughs> rose up in the ranks of that company because of how I was on the phone. Like I had good personality. I could tell you that your ass owed three hundred and forty-seven dollars and twenty-seven cents. In the nicest, most southern way, you'd be like, you know what? Bitch, I take do my car. owe that money. I do owe that money. Here you go, baby. Should I tip you? <laughs> that's what I did. Wow. And, and from there, that's how I sustained myself. But I decided one day that I wanted to visit a friend that lived in L.A. I'm like, I don't know anything about L.A. It sounds very crazy on TV. I'm from the Carolinas. We think about LA as like this magical place that does not really exist. It's like Mm -hmm. stars go. Mm -hmm. So I had a friend that lived there, and I'm like, you know what? I think I want to go visit. I just want to see what it's like. Yeah. My little black ass country self. I just want to see what it's like. So I I went out there, and immediately I was like, I feel a shift in my atmosphere here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I need to like explore, right? So. I went mm. on like a little little uh, 
tour around LA or whatever. Yeah. You know what they call it, the little tours that they yeah, take you places. Yeah, the TMZ yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And I was going by Warner Brothers, and I saw that they were hiring for tour guides. Oh, wow. And I thought, oh, I think I could do that. I could give a tour. Yeah. Why not? So I went back the next day, <laughs> and I went to the auditions, and baby, the line was out the door. It was like 300 people trying to become a tour guide at Warner Brothers, and they were only looking for two tour guides. I wow. said, oh, baby, I'm not about to get this. I'm not about to get this line. is full of all these beautiful, yeah. very sophisticated people. I got an accent and yeah. everything. Yeah. It ain't going to happen. I got in that line. <laughs> he got I did it. The audition. They called me the next day, and they said, "You are fantastic, and we would like to offer you the gig." And I, I don't. What's meant for you will fall in place when yeah. it's time. That's just that's it. Yeah. If it's meant for you, it will fall in place when it is time. It's always the timing too, because when you mm-hmm. think about it, had he not just decided. I'm going to go visit my friend in L.A. And then when he got there, had the feeling like, let me go on the tour. It's like everything, mm-hmm. it's a it's a nudge. Like he saw, and he, he saw the hiring thing, and he was like, I could do that. Like he probably got a nudge, like a, like, like a mm-hmm. push, like go ahead. And had he just ignored it, he might not even be where he at today. Facts. I don't think to this day I've ever been more shocked about anything that's ever happened in my life. Wow. And by the way, we watched everybody audition, by the way. We're in a yeah. big room. We yeah. could see everybody go up there and do their yeah. thing. Mm. And this is when I learned the lesson that I still imply today. I would have turned around right then. Don't try to copy what <laughs> you think is popping. Don't try to don't see what you think is working for someone else mm. and try to emulate it. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. I saw a lot of people up there who I was like, oh, they got that job in the bag. But I went up there and I was myself. And I booked that job because of who I was, Period. not because of who I was trying to copy. So I got that job, and I did not live in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> oh I, be, I'm not here. I lived in Florida. And they're like, and that was on a Wednesday they called me. They said, your job starts on Monday, and you have to have a California license. I said, oh, my God, I live in Orlando, Florida. My license is Floridian. I'm a Florida man without the crazy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how do we do this? Um, and they said, well, we, we, you have to be here Monday at 12 o'clock with a California ID. So I'm like, you know what? Let's make it work. So I went all the way back to Florida. On a flight that was like next day, you know that's a costly flight. I didn't mm-hmm. have that much money. Out how, uh, yeah, baby. Okay, went all the way over there, packed up my apartment, and drove across the country to get to LA to get here in time. Now, mind you, I had to stop at the first DMV once I crossed the border to make sure I can get a license in time to get. Yeah, to the thing. I was gonna skip this part, but I'll tell you because it's a it's a traumatic part of my story in my life. On my way, I had to drive to, to California so quickly because mm-hmm. mm. I didn't have enough time. I mean, I think I left on a Friday. I had to be in L.A. on a Monday. I was driving like 20 hours a day. Mm. So it's like 42 hours to get here. So that whole weekend, I was just driving. And I got so sleep deprived on that Sunday. When I got to uh, like the end part of Texas, I fell asleep at the wheel. Mm-hmm. And I drove off the road. And I hit like like a... The little barrier, little median, mm-hmm. and um, that's what like woke me up. Mm. And it was so. I just told my mom this story like a couple of months ago because I'm like, you know, that type of stuff will get a mother crazy upset. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I remember it like it was yesterday, and I cried. I'm like, what are you doing? You're just you're just throwing caution at the wind. There's no plan. There's no real direction. Like. You're going to move to L.A.? Like, I started to question everything. Mm. And I realized that was nothing but the enemy just creeping in on what I what I was destined to have. Trying to tell you, mm-hmm. you didn't say mm-hmm. Trying to you tell that me, mm-hmm. oh, you think you're about to go out here and live your dream? You thought. You thought. Yeah. Let me almost kill you. Mm-hmm. Right? I took a deep breath. I got back on that road. I hopped off, took a nap, and I kept going. Mm. I kept pushing. And I got her. I got that car, that license. When I tell you, I could have, I could have lost my mind and my tears of just how like crazy everything was just adding up yeah. in my favor after just hours ago yeah. running off the road. 
I could kill somebody else. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I walked into Warner Brothers suit and tie Aww. at 12 o'clock. This is in your car, dot. by the way. In my car. All my shit is in my car. I don't have an apartment. All, all the things that mean anything to me are in my little... I had a Dodge Neon. If you know what a Dodge Neon mm-hmm. is, it's small. The, it is. Like a Dodge Neon, yeah. <laughs> like 2001. 2006, it was at the time. Yeah. Packed that car and left. And got in there. Left all my furniture behind, left everything behind. Just had my essentials. Got in there and I said, I'm reporting for duty, sir. But I didn't have any money. <laughs> I didn't have any money. I had to break my lease. Mm. And I had to pay that so bill. So I can move. Ha, break okay. my lease so I can move. Yeah, I can't help it. I can't help it. I see the song didn't tell you that when you break that lease, they're going to find your ass. I ain't thousand dollars. And they took all my savings. So all I had when I was driving across was like $300. Damn. So when I got there and I went into that job, accepting the job and doing all the paperwork, I walked out of that orientation back to that car. And I didn't have any place to stay for days. I showered at the YMCA in Burbank. You know, uh, mm. Warner Brothers in Burbank. Mm-hmm. Down the street, there was a YMCA. I showered there. And I just, you know, slept in my car, tried to figure it out. Not once did I feel like I had made a mistake mm-hmm. at this point. Mm-hmm. It was just like, Terrell, keep going. Keep your head down. I don't know what God is telling you to do, but just do it. And um, then I told my mother. <laughs> I said, she said, how are you doing? And I said, um... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but I am I am I am not housed at the time, mm-hmm. and she lost her mind. Mm-hmm. I don't come from a rich family like that. We did what we could. Yeah. She, just, she sent me a couple of dollars, and it was enough <laughs> to get a hotel, but not just any hotel. Zachary Campbell. Where did you go? And I only had a couple dollars, Madison. So I looked up <laughs> on Google. I'm like. Hotels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sort by price. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's the top lowest price up here? And it was twenty five dollars a night. I said, "Oh, wow. her." Now, from where I'm from, that's that's actually not too far off. Yeah. In South Carolina, you can get a hotel for fifty dollars a night. You'll yeah. be all right. You'll be all right. You got a bed. You got a bed. So my naive self, I'm like, okay, twenty five dollars. Hey, it's just gonna be a little <laughs> shitty. Hey, hey. The hotel is called Stay on Main, and it's in downtown. Uh huh. Now the folks at now, home. Now isn't that now? Yeah, is that Stay on Main like the the murderous Stay on Main that where the body Woo! the body was in the water tank on the roof? Oh. You seen that documentary, Madison? There was a documentary called Hotel Cecil. And, and you Netflix. was up in Hotel Cecil. I checked in to Hotel Cecil. You're lying. On January 14th, 2014. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I did not know <laughs> that this was a murder hotel. <laughs> no one, there was no sign outside the door that said, Welcome, Welcome to, my to murder our hotel. murder hotel. Nobody told me shit. Mm. Uh, all the reviews, <laughs> there was the reviews that didn't say nothing about no goddamn murders, okay? Of course. Now, I should have known something when I went up in that hole and I gave them my little incidental fee. They said, your incidental fee is $25. I said, Uh-oh. that's it? Y'all yeah. must ain't got nothing to be incidental about. <laughs> <But> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I walked into the elevator. <laughs> and, and by the way, the, the lobby is grand. Yeah. The lobby is beautiful. As soon as you step foot in that elevator, everything changes. Uh-huh. It looks terrible. You been there? No, I haven't. Oh, oh my God. I it looks disgusting. <laughs> Madison! <laughs> I, Madison's white woman just came out. I will oh, no. never I step foot in there. I never <laughs> step foot in there. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough privilege there because I've had rough times too, but I'm yeah. too scared to go. I'm terrified, <laughs> bitch. Me, you. Yeah. When I walked, me, you. When I walked in the elevator, I was like, "Oh my god, this is an awful elevator." But I was still like, "I'm gonna have a place to lay my head." Yeah. Coming from my car, I'm like, "This is gonna be fine." I walked into the hotel room, baby. I said, "Now the wall is painted gray, but there's green streaks oh, that's... that are painted across the wall. What? What is that?" What is the greenery here? Mm. Why is it why is it growing? Why does it have life? No. It has a life. Mm-mm. And I said, okay, interesting. I'm gonna ignore that. Let's go and take a look at this bed. Bed, crazy. Look like just like something you see off a horror movie. This disgusting. 
But this is my, I've chosen yeah. this life. I'm like, all right, cool. Let's make the most of it. But let me just go to the bathroom real quick and figure myself out. No, oh, I would have made it to the bathroom. Opening the little doors. I see a little closet. Okay, that's not the bathroom. Trying to find another door. Oh, that's not, that's not a bathroom. That's the door to the next uh, hotel next door. The next Where, room? The next, where's the bathroom? So I called her and said, I was like, yeah, I'm having trouble finding the bathroom. I'm so sorry. This is, this is crazy, but I just don't know where the bathroom is. Oh, the bathroom is actually down the hall. If you go down to the, to the end of your floor, you'll find nah, the bathroom. Nah, man. I said, there's, there's a communal bathroom? There's a communal bathroom for this entire floor? <laughs> yes, sir, there is. Oh, that's why I was $25 a night. <laughs> oh, okay. Nah, yeah. So there was one bathroom for the entire That's crazy. Floor. Maybe two for the entire floor. And um, that is where I had to shower and pee and do my business. And it was disgusting. Mm-hmm. I should have been like, I need to get the fuck out of here. But I, God was still operating in a crazy way because I'm like, you know what? This is just part of your story. Keep moving, Terrell. You're here for a reason. Keep pushing. There was a phone book in my room, a phone book in the Bible. You know, that's the old hotel. So they mm-hmm. got them yeah. yeah. Phone book in the Bible. And I was mm-hmm. flipping through and I'm like, production companies? Okay, cool. So from the A's, I just started calling them. From the A's to the B's to the C's, I just started calling. Do you need a PA? You need somebody to, to walk the dogs. You need somebody to grab the coffee. Like, I'm just looking for Dang. extra work. Like, da 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 And I called this woman named... And she was a prop director for Scandal. Or, what do you call it? Art director. Mm-hmm. Sorry. For Scandal and How to Grave Murder and some, some all the other, you know, TV dramas. And she said, don't you ever call back here again. Oh Why are you soliciting? da 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 Like, just, just like, eating me up. And I... Threw that phone <laughs> across the room and was just cussing God out. Oh, I cussed him out. Yeah. I was so irate. I was upset. I was mad at him, myself, my whole situation. And um, I, I, I felt like I didn't know what to do. So I just sat in bed and looked at the ceiling. I probably looked like a vegetable, just, just, mm. just having no answers. And I get a call back at 8.30. God, it's like it was yesterday. 8.30 p.m. And it was her. Yeah. And it was her. And she said, can you be at my office at 8.30 in the morning? And I'm like, what? Like, this is the same lady who just cussed me out for calling her, for cold calling her, asking for a job? I was like, um, yes. And I was like, for what? And she goes, I don't know why, but I need to meet you. Mm. And I said, yes, ma'am. I hopped my ass up at 5 a.m. <laughs> Way too early. I didn't know. I was in I was new city. I mean, but you're in the communal bathroom. You got to get ready. Uh, you got to get up. I got to get up. I got to get ready. I got to get up. I'm sorry. And I got my ass to Burbank where her, where her warehouse was. Way too early. I got there at 6.30. <laughs> uh-huh. And I waited there for a couple of hours. Period. And I waited for her to pull up. And she says, are you the guy who cold called me yesterday? I said, yes, ma'am. She walks me in, and she has this huge warehouse full of props, mm. full of props, where all these shows come and pull from for their shows. And like Miranda Priestly, y'all know Miranda Priestly, yes. right? She walks me in. She doesn't say a word to me. She goes, organize my pillows. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Me? Me? Who? She has thousands of them, like hundreds of pillows. She's like, I want you to organize them. And I said, okay, do you want it by color? Do you want it by brand? And she just turns around and shuts the door, does not acknowledge me any further, and leaves me in that warehouse by myself. What am I supposed to do now? Mind you, I'm in a hotel with the murderers. <laughs> okay. With green shit on the wall. I don't really have any other options. I do have the job at Warner Brothers, but I mean, like, I don't have a check yet. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I gotta, you got to work for your check. I need something, bitch. Right? So I go in there, and I just start putting stuff together. I found these, like, clear bags. I'm putting pillows that I think are look alike together. You know, I'm gay, but I'm not that gay. So, like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know fashion. I don't, really know I don't fashion know what y'all talking about. You know what I mean? and organizing what? And I found the label maker. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to label it. And this is, this is all what I think belongs in one group. It took me hours. At the end of the day, she comes in there. She says, are you done? And I go, yes, ma'am. I think I'm done. And she inspects my work without saying a single word. And when she is done, she walks back over to me. She pulls out her checkbook, and she writes me a check for $3,000. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, 
Trust me, check in three thousand dollars. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, bitch. It's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. And she gave it to me, and I still can get emotional thinking about this. <laughs> I just, I'm getting. A- yeah. She gave me this check, and she said, "Terrell, you belong here." By the way, she's a white woman, older woman, don't know me from Bob on the street. She gave me this check. She said, you belong here. I don't know where your future is going to take you. But that's got, ooh, ooh. you belong here. And she gave me that check. I was like, what am I supposed to do with it? And she said, do what you think is right. Aww. Do what you think is right. Mm. Um, and... I always say this to this day, without her, I don't think I would have stayed here. I think I would have gotten so overwhelmed yeah. by my situation that I would have just moved back home. Um, and every single month after that, until she eventually moved away from L.A., I checked in with her. Every month, once a month, I would go and do whatever she asked me to do. If she wanted her dog walked, I got her. She wanted like, her coffee, whatever it was. I went back, and this is way now. I'm I'm in production. I'm a casting director at this point. This is years. Mm-hmm. Every single month, mm-hmm. I was making my own money. I had my own apartment by this time. It did not matter. Every single month, I would check in with her to make sure that she was good mm-hmm. until she moved away. Um, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. Wow, yeah. mm. and it's that crazy. Is how was able to even think that things were possible, which is why I'm very big on support. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm very big on showing up and doing the job that you're asked to do. Mm-hmm. Come on. And no matter how small the job is. You don't fucking know. You never know what... You, you don't even know. know. Cause God, and to be honest, God sent her to you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Before you go to Rail, yes. I need to play a game That was... Ooh. And that's what I mean. When it's for you, it's for you. Everything will literally fall into place on his own. Mm-hmm. Not even on his own, but you, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. when it's for you, it's definitely for you. Ooh. I need to play a game with you, girl, because, oh, oh, no. oh this is going to be a fool. What is Now, I don't, because, uh, uh, what it is? Let's get into game and gags right quick, okay? Now, this game is called Girl, that What You Know. That I'm going to be deaf. <laughs> What? Not girl, what you know. Girl, I love that girl, delivery. Girl, what you know? Girl, what you know? Girl, what you know? Yeah. Now, now, this game is a quick game. Okay. So you have to be able to answer the questions quick. Okay. How many colors are in the rainbow? Seven. I'm going to say 17. I said seven. I said seven. Girl, 17? What the fuck? You got to take a 17. shot. You got to take a shot. You got to take a shot. 17. Yeah, where'd you be? Four, it's just green. Uh, plum. Ah, not plum. Plum. Yeah. Oh, they are. Um, now, bitch, you know you should know the goddamn rainbow, bitch. You, we should know the rainbow. 17 is crazy. Very specific. See, I don't know. I, I thought seven. He said forest green. <laughs> <laughs> Baby blue. Right. Arizona? No. Nevada. Yeah, I knew it was close. I can't you even know Terrell Nosta. <laughs> Area 51 is located. Oh, here oh. she go. I knew it was she loves trivia, girl. I she do. be at home reading trivia for fun. Bitch. I love Jeopardy. Meanwhile, I don't. <laughs> oh, girl, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> uh. Okay. How long is the reason you sex on average? I feel like 15 minutes. That's too long, baby. Way too long. Sex, like the intercourse part? Yeah. For heterosexuals? 15. Yeah. I would Somebody say, is pumping for I would 15. say three. <laughs> three to seven. Yeah. Which is crazy. For heterosexuals, yeah. <laughs> you ain't never had no heterosexual sex. I did, but I was pumping for 15 minutes. Because <laughs> <laughs> you went into it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw this yeah. goddamn microphone. What is the world's most expensive Ghost pepper. <laughs> Bitch, what? <laughs> the, sp- the most spice is... Is it, is it a common spice? Ice spice. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Serena Peppers. Saffron. Yeah. 
Wait, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought that was a gas station. I, I should have said that, but you gave me the hand. I'm like, okay. I thought you said a gas Child, station. Child, Sarah be knowing everything. Shut the fuck. Okay. I thought you just said a gas station. No, I said, no, BP. That's all I want more. Think of a bonus one. Uh, okay. What forms in your brain by age 25? Oh. What forms in your brain by the age 25? What forms in your yeah, brain? Yeah, I'm going to just forming. Uh, your spine? No, no, uh, your brain. It's your brain. Cerebral cortex? Your That's frontal lobe. Yeah, your frontal yeah. lobe. Mm. I was <laughs> anyway, that has been the tiredest podcast. Everybody, I would love to love everybody for coming. I have been blown out. I am clearly I'm not a so trivia sorry. girl. And clearly, you know girl, you can't you trivia. You, <laughs> you know you can't know. trivia with the real. I got the wrong bitch up here <laughs> to talk about this shit. I should have played something, something tired. Because, girl, <laughs> this bitch be in the dark reading. Y'all don't I believe do. me. I love a good... And I love a good nonfiction book too. Like, teach me some, Daddy. Terrell, listen, I love you so fucking much. I love you too. I thank you so much for coming on this show. Can Don't I come back? Know, you have no choice. I would love to. You come have back. no choice. The only thing you have left to do what? is look at this camera here and tell everybody where they can find you, how they can find you, and what you got coming up next. What's up, everybody? First of all, thank you for watching the Tired Ass Podcast, hosted by. My bestie, Zach Campbell, and produced by the lovely Madison. Yeah! Y'all are doing it up in here. <laughs> My name is Terrell. You can find me on everything at Terrell Grice. That's on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, um, Pornhub. Everything else. <laughs> Zeus. Zeus Network. <laughs> Bitch, get into it. Oh, I'm ready to fight somebody. What's up? What's up? Nah, this has been great. Thank y'all. And thank y'all for supporting my best. Oh, we love you so much. And we will catch you in the next one, Tyra's Army. We love you so much. I like that. That was cool. Yeah. I like that came. Oh, that was that was that was real cool. It, it was. was real cool. It was. I, I fucks with that. Yeah. And his story is amazing. It is. His story is amazing. I'm it glad almost, to hear that. It almost sounds unbelievable. Right. It does. It almost sounds unbelievable, but that's how God works. I feel like a lot of people have a lot of a lot of people some people a lot of people that have gotten to where they are probably have a story mm-hmm. to tell. Like yeah. like a good one. Uh, almost an um, uh, uh, almost an unbelievable story. Right. Yeah. But that that's that that is somebody's motivation. His story is somebody's motivation. That's that fact. that think that their situation is terrible. Somebody got it worse. That, because honestly, I would I don't I probably would not have been Oh, that that, that, that hotel say, would have had my money. I would have I would have been left. back in the car. I would have stayed in the car. And the the thing is is I feel like what that like what that taught Terrell is that you can't be too proud Mm -hmm. because if he would have said, Oh no, baby, I'm not staying here. It might not have turned out the same way. The fact that he put what could have been his pride aside and say, all right, I'm going to do this because I know at the end of this, it's going to be better. Mm -hmm. Whatever he probably was against. He might've normally, he might've would have been like, I ain't staying in nothing like this, but you know, he did what he, what he felt he should have done. And God led him through and he facts. What person writing somebody a three thousand dollar check and handing it to them? Okay. Trying to tell y'all, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. Mm-hmm. Let us know what y'all think down in the comments below. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. We're gonna catch you on the next one.